today's episode, we're going to cover two main items. Number one, we're going to discuss the changes that have been made in the podcast. And secondly, we'll close with some wisdom, wisdom from a gentleman named Robert A. Russell, who wrote a book called You Too Can Be Prosperous. I'll be referencing him quoting another person in chapter four of his book. And also Raymond Hollywell in his book called Working with the Law. We're we'll talking about his sixth chapter, the Law of the Increase. So before I jump into that wisdom from those two sources, uh, I'd like to give an update on the wise men system. Essentially in on May 13th of this year, 2023, it came to my attention that the trimming down was a matter of choice. For years, I had the false belief for about 20 years or more. I had the false belief that I needed to be heavy to maintain my sanity. And I'm not being facetious about that. I'm being very sincere that uh, what I'm saying by that is I had the impression because of experience that when I was off of my medicine for a bipolar disorder, then I lost weight. <laughs> then, and when I relapse, I get back on the medicine and I would gain weight. So by that experience alone and the doctors suggesting that one of the side effects of taking the medicine was to gain weight, I tried on two different occasions with a 10 year gap in between them to not be on the medicine because I wanted to trim down, have more energy and not sleep as much. That started in uh, the year 2000 where I, I went from uh, 200 pounds um, to 200 pounds to 260 pounds in nine months after getting on medicine and being diagnosed with a disorder. And what is it, what is the price of rice here? What, is, what does this have to do with you? The, the point I'm trying to make is that it came to my attention on the third 13th of May of this year that I simply had to make the decision, the resolution, the commitment, however you want to phrase it, I had to decide and turn my decision to the Lord and move forward and live in accordance with the things that I knew would help me to trim down. And it is amazing what has happened since. And as a result of those changes and to share the limited wisdom that vast wisdom given to me from Heavenly Father. And I want to give back. I feel like I have been given so much. And as a result of that, I, I'm sharing this wisdom to be free with my substance and to help serve one another, serve my fellow men. And my target audience that I'm looking to serve are those that are in their middle age. I'm 49 as of 2023 and looking to serve men that are family men that are striving to live correct principles and want to change, want to arise from complacency, arise from a state of letting their body go. And I'd like to help them change now, if not now for their lives. And for someone who may be younger than me, I would hope that they could change before their 49th year or the 48. No, I turned 49 this year, so I changed just before my 49th birthday. So in short, that covers topic number one. The Wiseman system is simply a, a system that I put together to teach, coach, podcast about, etc., and help others to trim down to their ideal weight. And the ideal weight, as a general rule of thumb, is your high school weight. And I've still got a ways to go, but I have. I'm I'm super close now compared to where I was. I two years ago, as you can see in my Instagram post, uh, I have a post of me pictured in the summer of 2021 when I was almost 290 pounds. And then I have a picture of me this summer where I was down to, uh, I think I was 228 in that picture. And as of this morning, I was uh, 221 and still trimming down and still moving towards my goal by living correct habits, living a different lifestyle, establishing wonderful habits and above all all of that though is the idea that you need to turn to the source rather than the thing or the cause rather than the effect and the way to do that is yes you need to measure your weight for example on a daily basis and see where you are and make adjustments accordingly but the key component is that you have your eyes seeing all the glory of God and that you're seeking to have his image in your countenance so that you can be of service to him and, and your fellow men by being fit 
and having energy to run and not be weary and walk and not faint. So enough said about the updates with the Wiseman system. This is episode two of 365. I plan to publish daily and now we'll move into phase two of the podcast of this episode and discuss these two principles here that are essentially one. And so the quote that Robert Russell references is from a gentleman named William Law who wrote a book on holiness probably three or four hundred years ago. I didn't check the source before I, I just recognized as I was writing this quote down that it was from William Law and it says the following, praise turns all that it touches into happiness. The second reference I'd like to give and then we'll tie it all together is from Raymond Hollywell in his book called Working with the Law and in chapter six is called The Law of Increase and each of these his chapters he gives it a title of essentially the effect of a blessing or the receiving of a blessing but the meat of each particular chapter is the generally speaking the cause and the cause of increase is in under one simple word praise which was the same word that uh, William Law said turns all that it touches into happiness so I had read working with the law several months a long time ago actually and reread it recently and as i was reading robert russell's book in the past month or so i came across that quote and i wrote in the margin of that book that praise is the midas touch midas touch meaning that that which you praise increases that which you praise everything it touches leads to happiness so if you want to have more of something you need to praise more you need to recognize good in others more including yourself and make those incremental consistent changes that are needed to move forward with your life and to trim down 